Hello, welcome to the north. It's the arse end of summer, perfect camping weather and uh, I'm out for an e-bike camping trip. I'm going to look for a place to camp overnight. It's going to be about 45 kilometers to the campsite. That's a big ride. The weather's behaving. Uh, sun's just come out but the, clouds, the, the rain clouds have been chasing me all this time. Hopefully it stays dry. Let's see. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's half past two now, so I've got another hour and a half's ride. Got dog with me. He's coming with. So uh, let me show you how I'm riding. Hey. Aiden's looking dapper in his fishing jacket. Aren't you, mate? Here we go. Yeah, it looks a bit precarious right now. To be honest, I'm not quite happy with this setup. This is the uh, the dry bag I take for paddle boarding. Uh, it seems to bounce around a lot. There's a lot of weight in there. Uh, I'm quite happy with the Ortlieb panniers. They don't seem to be going anywhere. Other than that, it's a good ride. Uh, I stopped for a more than a minute and the mosquitoes start biting, so let's make tracks. Right people, here we are, we're off and it's just started to rain. I'm about 10 kilometers into the ride. Don't mind the rain to be honest. This jacket's waterproof. This is actually my snowboard jacket, but uh, it's doing the job, keeping the rain off me, keeping me warm, keeping me dry. Riding on now the rain's coming down quite heavy now. I'm riding on the, the flood protection embankment. It's uh, it's quite open. Normally I would seek shelter and just wait for it to die down, but I mean I'm dry. I, I mean at least top half of me is dry. My, Bottom half is saturated, it really is. Getting all the weather today. Sun's come out finally. I'm dry enough actually. It's, it goes quite quick when you're moving. 25 kilometers into the journey. Naden was looking a bit miserable. I'm enjoying it actually. It was quite fun. It was coming down pretty hard, but I really enjoyed it. It's not but rain, is it? It's not going to hurt you. Just thought I'd stop to the side and see how my mate's doing. Let's have a look. You all right, mate? Hey, you done good, ain't you? Come on. Stretch your legs, mate. Go on. Whee! Bit of a shake. 
and he's off. Good lad. Okay, we're almost at journey's end. It's been a nice ride. I don't think the rain put a downer on the trip. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning here, it really is. Got about 10 more minutes to ride. Thighs are burning, but... I'm trying try to keep my uh, my battery going for as long as possible. It's done really well, actually, to be honest. I've been going for it. When it was raining, I was really bombing it. And at the moment, I'm doing a steady 24 kilometers an hour. Uh, one bar on the battery. But it looks like he's got, to, got me to where I want to be really cool that's the fun about e-bikes it just makes you want to just makes you want to go further really I was a bit of a traditionalist when it came to bikes I've had I've had road bikes I've had mountain bikes I've had city bikes all kinds of stuff yeah and I never liked the idea of a, an e-bike oh yeah yeah you know, if you've got perfectly good working legs, why, why bother? But that's the thing, I would not bother with a manual bike going this far. Because by the time you get to your destination, you're knackered, you know. I don't want to be rocking into a campsite all hot and sweaty and just no energy to enjoy. I want to relax, you know. It's made it. Just a bit of off-roading to do and I've got to find a nice quiet little camp spot by the river hopefully. I'm not alone, I can hear a few people here but they'll just be dog walkers and things. All right let's do this.
think we found the spot. Release the hound! Up. It's time to bring out the tent. God, I'm itching like mad. Mosquitoes are going crazy today. Talk you through the sets up now. Whoa, I'm sweating cobs. I'm gonna hang my jacket up. Thank you. It's warm. Anyway, where are you now? My home from home. The river's gorgeous. I'll show you in a minute. All right. All right, so I ballsed up basically. Uh, <laughs> I put the tent on the wrong way around, so the door should have been on the front here. <sighs> but uh, yeah, it's on the side now, so I'll have to be on my hands and knees to get in. Never mind. Uh, also, I just the way the light, land lies, I just couldn't uh, get a flat ground facing the river, which would have been nice. It's a really nice view, uh, but never mind. I mean, I'm only in the tent to sleep anyway, so I'll get up with the sun. Yeah, but here we go. So I've got this diamond tarp set up here right now. It's kind of like um, doubling up as a garage as well. I can stick my bike in there, a um, few other bits. And yeah, the sand is, uh, the ground is quite, the ground is quite sandy, which is perfect because uh, a bit further down, it's really stony. It's difficult to get your pegs in. I don't want to be digging. But yeah, hey, we're here. We made it. This is where things get really comfortable now. Finally set up my chair. Stick my beer in the river. The 
it's nice and cold. Take my shoes off, make sure that they dry, and get some food on, maybe a brew. That'd be good. Despite me being in the middle of nowhere, I still like to lock my bike up. And there are three ways. Got a U lock, cable, and a disc lock. And this one's got an alarm on it, but I think that's a bit overkill. I don't know. I guess if I'm going to go for a walk with the dog. Naden, come here. Pinching my shoe. No, it's my glove. Here. Thank you. Can't go camping with kids, can't go camping with dogs. Go! Out! It's better to be safe than sorry, I don't know. Better peace of mind. crazy how many keys I've got for all these locks. I don't even know which one this is. Ah yeah. B. I'm off to find some sticks to dry my boots and I'm going to need a hammer as well Let's see what we've got Sticks Hammer, hammer, hammer Big stone will do Naden took the stick, didn't he? Naden, bring me the stick. Bring me the stick. That's my stick. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna use the porch to put my feet down while my shoes are drying, but when you're camping with a dog, you can find that sticks go missing. Thank you. Leave it. Leave it. Daddy stick. You pesky thief. Don't touch my sticks. Leave it. Stiegel Columbus 1492 Pale Ale. Never tried it before, so it'll be interesting to know if it's any good. But I do prefer it a little bit cold. It's quite warm. My pale ale, leave it. Don't touch, it's my treat. No! Not a bad brew that, if I say so myself. Also got myself a pan au chocolat from the bakery this morning. And all order has been restored in the world.
bring the stick. Bring back. golden hour here on the banks of the Danube. Dog's still swimming in the river, being a dog. That's what I like. Getting a bit cold. My shoes are on the dryer. And I'm getting a bit hungry so I might put some food on soon. Uh, really spectacular. The mosquitoes have died down, it's not windy, it's not raining, I mean I was so lucky with the weather. Right, let's talk bikes. I bought this e-bike last month. And uh, oh, I've been looking for chances to, for reasons, reasons to use it basically because I don't ride that much. Um, but when I do, I want to ride far. I'm a bit reluctant to, to, to praise the bike to be honest. I'm, I'm a bit superstitious like that, you know. I don't want to say, ah, oh, it's a great bike, a great bike, and then tomorrow it'll fail on me. But it uh, hasn't happened yet. But the bike itself can hold a lot of weight. I mean, I've got a lot of weight on that bike already. And uh, felt stable, felt safe. The range on them batteries are incredible. So I rode about 46 kilometers today. Uh, one bar left on the end. You know, it can, it can still keep going. Yeah, it's a lot of fun as well. I think that's what you're paying your money for. It's, just, it's not the same as a manual bike, of course. When you hit a hill, you lose your pace. With an e-bike, you can just power all the way up that hill. It's a thrill as well. I mean, especially the off-roading with the fat tires. It's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, we ain't got food yet. Let's get this going. Oh, we're cooking now. So, wow, that's bright. Whoa. How do I turn that down? Okay, it's half past eight. Sun went down an hour ago. Uh, just had my dinner. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted because there's a cruise ship coming up in the night. With all the lights on. So, I wasn't planning on having a fire, uh, but my shoes haven't dried out. And I think it would be nice to have a little fire going before bed. So, I'll do just that. There's not a lot of dry wood around after that rain. But I got some good firewood from home. That'll keep me going. It's good to have a bare reserve though. 
nothing above me. Looks good. Made these wax biscuits not so long ago through my IKEA candles. But they smell really nice. Made from cotton pads. I get about five minutes of fire from it, which is good and it's long enough to get a fire going. So you just, well I normally just break it in half and then fold it like this. Get all the fibres loosened up. Get it lit. Finally got my, my shoes, my insoles and my socks drying out by the fire. Gonna have some dry feet tomorrow. Hey. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do me been quite an adventure so far cycling through the rain getting here when it was dry setting up camp went well everything I brought I've needed I have to be honest this is the first time I've gone solo camping well solo and with the dog but usually I go with the mates and um, it's, it's a totally different experience it really is. It's um, it's definitely. It's like time doesn't exist. It's when you're with your mates. It's um, you know, you you have to think about eating together. You have to think about getting up and packing up together at the same time. It's nice to just have your own time to relax. To go alone is is definitely um, it's definitely good for the soul good for the soil. It's nice to get out of that box apartment of mine and just be out here by the river with the dog. Yeah? Life's good? Cheers! Amazing how sound travels here over the water. That's on the other side of the bank. So yeah, fire's out. Um, we're about to turn in for the night. It was a really cool evening. Didn't get my shoes dry though. Maybe tomorrow. Back to the campsite. Dog's ready for bed. You've got your bed here. Come on. Out.
morning. I hope you slept as well as I did. Woke up to the most glorious sunrise this morning. Half past six I got up. Didn't rain overnight. However, it looks like the river rose quite a bit. Plan for today, just relax. Enjoy the good weather while it lasts. Play with the dog. Pack up and go. Go for a walk. Come on. Oh, that wasn't easy. Come on. So we both just got back from a long walk by the river, we're about to pack up now, set off and get going, 45 kilometres to go. Of course this battery got me all the way here, but uh, one battery was never going to be enough despite the good range, um, so I ended up buying an extra battery. So. I thought since I'm going to be carrying a big heavy piece of equipment like this around I might as well protect it so I ended up making a sleeve for it out of foam and it's simply just if I ever have a, an accident on the bike if I ever fall that the battery doesn't get damaged and um, also in the colder temperatures keeps it nice and warm as well simple way to swap it out you just need the key really simple twist to unlock another good thing about the sleeve is keeps the contacts nice and clean when it's in my bag when I'm traveling with it simply clicks into place like that and I'm good to go
homeward bound we're riding off into the sunset one more hour to cycle it's been a great camp the bikes perform really well from me and Aidan thank you for watching and we hope you join us on our next adventure Sarah for now.